of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, under God indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Play ball. Play ball. I see it's up I don't want, I don't want to be hired for you, Mr. Deeks. All right, well, welcome everyone this morning. Uh, if I could make it, it's good to be back. No, it's not. Where have you been? No, I was going to say, <laughs> don't try not to look at me. We've been gone for a couple of weeks, but how did you get back and go? Find out. It was great. It was a great conference. Did you discuss a lot of community <laughs> issues. Yeah. All right. I'm going to turn it over to Michael. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> Thank you, Commissioner. Uh, first item on the agenda is the uh, you know the council took action at their last meeting regarding the uh, reorganization and restructuring of the highway department. So uh, there have been appointments prepared uh, to make Bob James the highway superintendent and. Uh, there are also appointments for Kara Wright as the new director of Vigo County Human Resources and Tommy Roberts as the Vigo County Maintenance Supervisor. So I believe all three of those uh, are ripe for consideration at this time. We can do them all at once. You can make a motion to approve all three. You want that motion? That'd be fine. So moved. Motion to approve all three of those appointments. I have a second. Second. Any discussion? If not. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Should they good. come up and give a good luck, guys? Presentation? You got a speech made up for anything? Anybody yeah. want to go first? <laughs> Bobby James. <laughs> no. Well, Tommy guys, Roberts. You got you got big jobs ahead of you, and uh, we appreciate it. And if you need anything? Let us know. We'll be glad to help you. Okay, Michael. Uh, the, there is another appointment uh, that's right for consideration. Uh, Steve Nasser resigned from the Honey Creek Fire Protection District uh, in January of this year, and uh, Mr. Shacker, Mr. Shackelford, the chairman of the fire district trustees, submitted a request to appoint Michael Richards. To the remainder of Steve Nasser's term, which expires December 31st, 2020. So it would be a, a you know an appointment just for the remainder of this year, and then you could consider whether reappointment was appropriate. Do you guys have any discussion on that or thought? And who'd you say, Michael? I'm good. Uh, Mr. Michael Richards. Richards. You know, I do not. Anybody? I mean, Mr. If Shackelford says yeah, sure, has, I'm good with it. Yeah. Yeah. He's put a lot into that organization. Okay. I'll open it up for a motion. Let's make a motion to approve the appointment. A second. Motion is made and seconded. All in favor say aye. Aye. All aye. Right, from Michael Richards. Thank you. I may know him if I saw him. But. Congratulations, Michael Richards, on your appointment. <laughs> The uh, whoever you are. <laughs> Next item uh, from the county engineer. He has presented a contract for engineering services related to the mitigation and relocation of Vigo County Bridge 77. <coughs> I think it's a historic trust relocation. Yes, correct. Yep. Parks to Prairie Creek. Yep. So Bridge 77 is a bridge that's on French Drive, um, just west of Prairie Creek Park. Uh, it's in poor condition. It's being redesigned. Um, with that, we're going to plan on moving that historic bridge uh, into Prairie Creek Park. So this is a contract for design services to design the new foundations for the bridge, the relocation plans, as well as the environmental document that goes along with it. Um, and that will that will make us eligible for some federal funds, so we can get some assistance and from the feds and paying for that. So, Good. so the uh, services include survey, categorical exclusion, 
the Waters of the U.S. report, bridge transfer oversight, bridge design, geotechnical services. Total contract cost is $156,300, and it is with Beam Longest and NEP. Correct. The consulting engineers. Yep, they're the ones doing the design work on Bridge 77, so that's this is a new standalone contract to move that bridge into Prairie Creek Park. Yes, and I wanted to make that clear that this does not cover the installation of a new bridge. No, this no, is just no, the new no, just No, yeah, I just want no. to make that clear, though, too. <clears throat> Do you have a time no. frame on that? Well, we need to talk to the MPO about funding on when that's available. Um, but this gets us on the federal aid track so that we can be eligible for those relocation services, too. At, currently, we'd be on the hook 100% locally for that relocation and those services to do that. So this document um, and the plans that would be generated from this and the environmental document would cover any, any of that work that we need to do so we're eligible for those federal funds. So, the, so, so is there a site already set in Prairie Park? Yes, they, they picked out a location. I worked with Adam. Um, they picked out a location um, close to the entrance, um, right there at the north side of the of the pond, right there, um, to get from the parking area to a shelter there. So, great. Then, does this cover the moving of the bridge? That's what no, this no. This is, this is just design, design work. Of yeah, it's just survey design work of the foundations, it. where you're going to put it, plus the environmental document um, covering anything any and all aspects of that so so how are we moving it <clears throat> well it'll be this will tell us how we're moving it. we're designing that but it'll be physically it'll be picked up loaded on a truck and trucked up there and then okay. placed on it so there'll be cranes involved and things so. we can do it can't we mm -hmm. I've got sure. that some of it some of it can be disassembled it's got but, in it. <laughs> can i give you a little history on this bridge go ahead this bridge, <clears throat> when I came into office in 2001, was on the federal aid program. Just so you know, this is how, not, not local government, but we're talking state and federal, holds up local government. That bridge was on the books, funded with federal aid money to be done. I mean, they were going to replace the bridge and all of that. That was in 2001. Several times we've had it on the program, wow. and for some reason the funding would get cut. Or um, actually the first time I had to give up that bridge in order to do a, another bridge that was in dire need. It, I mean, it was like an emergency, so it gave up. But since then it's been on and off of the books, on and off of the books, <clears throat> through the state and federal for this long. So kudos to Larry for finally getting this project moving. Yep. Yeah, and I've got to say the same thing while I'm talking here. I'm going to tell you the same thing has happened on our walkway between Terre Haute and West Terre Haute. That's been on the books since I got here. That was one of my first objectives was to get that done. And it never, never got done until now. And um, <clears throat> The MPO and Shane Spears from NDOT out of Crawfordsville and an engineer up there that took this project on uh, made this happen and Larry has stayed on top of it and uh, I just I just want you to know that in my going out year these two things <laughs> are, are near and dear to me and they're gonna happen I may not be here when they're finished but they're gonna happen and I thank you Larry for that my pleasure. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, so next step for Bridge 77 would be to get it onto the MPO schedule for that mm -hmm. funding to make it eligible. So we're going to just need to figure out what year we, we plug that in. Put it in the plug. Done. Yep. Larry, how does the recent changes with the MPO affect this? <clears throat> Funding-wise, they there. shouldn't. Um, okay. <clears throat> a few years ago, you know, when they restructured and the state came down and said we had to stay within our fiscal constraint, that hurts a little bit because you couldn't carry over balances anymore. So they're making you spend those funds. So this project was put in there as a placeholder in case something slipped. Um, but that's it's not really very easy to plug, you know, projects in because by the time you know a project is going to slip, um, it's usually too late to plug another one in. But so the goal would be to just pick a year and get this funded and and 
and get it built. Well, I'm thinking of the transition time because when they move from West Central to um, <clears throat> yeah, and that has not happened yet. But but it's on track, right? It's on track, but it actually hasn't happened. Right. Okay. Um, Is that supposed to happen in June or July? That's what that's what was requested. Right. So we've not. As far as I know, we haven't heard. I haven't talked to Ryan in the last okay. week because I've been gone. But um, we have a meeting with him today. It looks right. like on the calendar. Right. Yeah, I just I I'm concerned that some of these projects that we have in motion with the MPO, I just just like you said, it took 20 years to get that one. I hope nothing gets lost in that transition. So mm -hmm. well, they're in the they're in the STIP as well, which is the State Transportation Improvement Plan. Um, so they shouldn't get lost in any in any form. So they're already in there. It takes a, an act of the tech committee and policy committee to get those removed. So there's still a process to get those taken off there. So they shouldn't slip through the, through the cracks. And, and just so you, you know, talking about the MPO and uh, I know some people wonder what Vigo County has gotten out of the MPO. But just so you know, as president of that board, I can tell you, Vigo County gave up a lot of their funding from the MPO to get, they combined with the city to get 19th and Margaret overpass done. Right. So we we sacrificed a lot of funding over the period that it took to get those things done. So yeah. that was just part of our working together yep. with the city. It was necessary for the public. So that's what we did. Yeah, that's a critical function of the MPO Absolutely. to make sure we all work together and balance kind of what we're, what our needs are and right. what direction we need to go. Do we have more historical bridges that are in the same situation right now? Absolutely. Yeah. There's another one, Bridge 322, which is in the same kind of schedule of this one. Uh, just it's on 13th Street, uh, just south of Fort Harrison. Um, right. That's kind of in the same process mm -hmm. as this as well. So. So why is it considered historic? The only reason it's considered historic is because of the skew that is put. It goes over Lost Creek there, and it's at, it's at a, an angle like a 35 degree skew or something like that. I have to look it up, but it's it has to do with this, the angle of of the the bridge crossing the stream but that's are we, the only thing are we doing work on it this year or next year um no it's still in the design process it's another one that we got to pick Replace. out a fiscal year to put in there and fund it um the the one with that one as historic wise is just the angle it's hard to fit that one relocated somewhere because of the angle so <clears throat> excuse me it'll probably be um shopped around the state see if anybody needs it for anything so it is interesting mm -hmm. We have how many bridges? Uh, almost 200. And as I shared before in here, bridges that are in the city are our responsibility. Mm -hmm. Correct. Any bridge in the county. With the exception of the overpasses, is that right? No. Nope. No, no. The overpasses, too. No. Nope. There are ours also? Mm -hmm. Yep. So the night, uh, the new one that you just mentioned. Yep. And that the new one, one that's going. The ones on Fort So Harrison. the city build it, and then we're, we're responsible for it? Mm -hmm. Correct. Awesome. And you get no additional funding. I had no idea. Mm-hmm. Anybody else know that? The ones on Fort Harrison. <laughs> no, oh, yeah, the engineer did in the back, yeah. <laughs> Fruit <laughs> Ridge, all those are really? our responsibility. Can we straighten the one on Fruit Ridge then? <laughs> I almost got hit there last night. Let's put a bunch of vinegar on there and then, like, push it. Yeah. And you can't do it that way? I'm not sure that'll work. <laughs> That's nuts. Yeah, we will get an additional one when the, the, the city's currently trying to build another overpass there at uh, 13th and 8th Avenue, so that would be another one. So they build it, and it becomes our responsibility. Correct. That's so neat. One or two, whichever that plan suggests. So. Right. Speed things along. Can we have a motion? So what, what, what are we talking oh, go about? Ahead. I forgot what Engineering we services. Yeah, sure. <laughs> second. Motion made and seconded. All in favor, say it out. Aye. 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 Okay. Thank you. All right. The next thing up would be uh, Beagle County Assessor has a lease agreement with printers. And I would, uh, there's one additional thing to add to that. He had also submitted his uh, Form 11 mailing, mm -hmm. which he has in his budget with Midwest pre-sort, um, the total cost on that, 29,718, which is 18,000 letters. 46 cents a pop. And this is normal. This is something you've just yeah, Midwest done. is the yeah. same company we used last year. Uh, that's actually around a thousand dollars less than what it cost us last year. Good. I think that's got to do with we have them hold back some of the big mailings like for Indiana State University Union Hospital. There might be 500 that have to go to each one of those. 
So instead of mailing them, I have them hold those back and I just deliver those by hand. Excellent. So the lease agreements are for three Canon printers, each with 60 month terms. And I believe these amounts are in his budget as well. Yes, there I all my budgeting's there. That's what it is is they actually upgraded those printers and by entering into the new lease when the other one expired, it saved us not a huge savings, but it's about ten dollars a month on each one by upgrading to a new printer. So mean leases longer than a year, they just need your consent. How long is the one from Midwest? Is it's just, that, it's year it year is just agreement. a one year yeah. though, isn't it? They did it last every year, year before that it was Warrell. Yeah. And then I went to Midwest and it's just one year. Okay. Okay. Make a motion to approve the lease agreement. I will second that. Motion made and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion Thank you. Carries. Michael, do you have anything else? I do not, sir. Thank you. All righty. Would that motion cover both leases? Yes. Both your agreement. Right. It does now. I thought there was, is there three leases? Three leases and three a pre-sort agreement. Three leases and a pre-sort. Are we okay doing it that way, Cheryl? Should we, okay, by that look that Cheryl gave me, would you I rather think have them separate? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. You've already done it. Probably in the future, you should do them separate. We can change at least it. least with the agreements and then the Form 11. I feel like I'm in trouble now. Yeah, you're getting scolded. <laughs> auditor. Turn it over to the auditor. Just trying to do you. things correctly. Um, I believe you've been presented with the minutes for February 10th, 2020. Send it to you for your approval. Minutes for what day? February 10th, 2020. Yeah. Do. Okay. You good with it, Judy? Mm hmm. Make a motion to approve the minutes. Motion made. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. You were gone. I right? Yeah. <laughs> you were with us in spirit? Yeah, I, I sure was. No. Don't lie. There was. Second, okay. we have the claims for the week of February 8th, 2020 to February 14th, 2020, in the amount of $264,654.71. Oh, yeah. They have not seen Did you email them? I just have this one. They have a copy. I didn't have that. You didn't give them. Okay. Here's. They're looking. I don't have one for that. What'd you say? I don't. I just have the one from. 211. 211. Yeah, we don't have any. I don't have one. Is there anything in here, Cheryl, that you know that stands out? There wasn't. Did we have those in our box and I missed them? Or? No, I got everything out of the box. I didn't see one in mine. I don't think they got. Um, delivered to you on Friday and I'm since we were out yesterday. Good God, Brad, you got three. Yeah. Mm. Four. Oh. Go ahead and meeting. Sorry, approved now. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm almost done. Almost done. And the autopsy fees are getting expensive. A lot of people are dying. I know. Wait, this looks like... That's one fee we wish wasn't so high. There's some... What? There's... That is in this one. I saw that page in this one. You mentioned earlier. Yeah, right here. Okay. Yeah. yeah, this is the same. This is inside that one. 
And that says 213. So what right we're there. doing is we're missing. Yeah. Well, there's, yeah. there's 213. Yeah, that, that, that's what happened. 211. I've it's got, on your front page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've got that. But so so what this is, goes. this just has a few extra pages on it. This is what I have. Well, I don't know. This is 213. We have... Well, you don't have that. That's your signature page. Okay. We have this one. They've actually put two together. Two together on this. Really? You got 11. Yeah, because I've got 211 well, and 213. Yeah, right, but you, I think it's the 8th through the 14th. That's fine. Okay. But I'm, that's that. I'm confused. Whole week. Right. Yeah. I got two questions, but I mean, I'm good with approving it, but I got two curiosities. You want to go ahead and approve it first, and I can ask my curiosities later? If that's all you care about, yes. Oh, that's not all I care about. Okay, but, <laughs> I mean, but that's all you care about. Getting it passed, and then we can. I'll make a discuss. motion to approve. So moved for a high eight second. Eight until the 14th. Motion, second. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Discussion? Radio towers. How many do we have, Bobby? Are, are you involved with them at all? Do, do we have one at the North Garage? And then we're paying commercial radio service per month to use our tower. But that's for our service only, right? Okay. When you say out there, what are you talking about? Is That's their tower. Okay. I thought it was our tower. You have a small one at the North Garage, though, don't you? Okay. And that's for us only. We're not leasing that out. Okay, it doesn't work. Anymore. Mm -hmm. So we're just using the one out west only. Okay. Then, Tommy, the, the bird fee, are we still um, on bird patrol for the courthouse? How are they doing that now? Are they shooting them? Yep. No, they're not shooting them. They're making them. Well, they're shooting the um, flares, right? <laughs> Why do you think that's funny? They were shooting them at one time, weren't they, with BB guns? No. Sounds like... Fireworks at my house. Are you sure? I hear it a, a, they never a, saw them BB guns. Was that? Was that just in Clay County? <laughs> Why y'all laughing? I have read that 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 they were. were no. I thought these guys were shooting them with BB guns and no. At, no? Yeah, that doesn't always believe everything you read. Right. It Fake was in news. the Tribune Star, Howard. Do you recall this, Howard? <laughs> <laughs> Can we shoot? <laughs> okay, I'll stop at that. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, I got something. That you got something? No, I don't. Okay. I don't. But but thank you for allowing me some time. Okay. We really back. appreciate that, President. Glad to be back. Yeah, I kept him on track. He didn't like that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Right now, we have any comments from elected officials or office holders? Any comments? Really? Now we'll open it up to the public. Any That's comments from the public? That's all office holders in here. <laughs> yeah. Not right, guys. Thank you for coming. Oh, okay. well, Bob Murray, Jim. <laughs> oh, is, it, yeah, yeah. Is, is the meeting over then? It's over. Do you want to do, do an official closing, or I forget how we do that. Do we have to do an everybody say I thing? Mm -mm. Oh, I want to stay. Let's keep. Well, meeting's over. Yeah, it's over. Okay. <laughs> Break out the Red Riders. <laughs> oh. We'll be placing windows. <laughs> I thought they were though in Clay County. We have to replace all the windows. How you doing, young man? Yeah, welcome back. Okay. Yeah. Figured I'd talk to you. Okay. Get you kind of right into the groove of things. All right. Whatever you're ready, I'll just be able to Okay. How are you, lady? Good. Yep. Okay. All right.